Many countries in the African region heavily rely on tourism. Tourists come from all over the world to discover its people, history, weather, beaches, visit family and friends, and take along some souvenirs. Today, Gambia is one of the most mature countries in the tourism business. The Ministry of Tourism and Culture of the Gambia realized that many visitors who frequently visited Gambia left with many of the same products over the years. The Gambia Tourism Board through Comsec therefore created a craft producers program based on the identified need to raise capacities, promote innovation, competitiveness, and product quality that can increase job creation in the region. The Gambia Tourism Board brought together 20 craftsmen from the Gambia, Senegal, and Mali in the quest to enhance the capacity of craft producers in handicraft work, trash and treasure, tie and dye and batik, visual arts painting, wood carving, and product packaging. The concept uh, project uh, is a very important project for Gambian tourism in multifaceted. One, the project will help us to develop our crafts um, and craft uh, artifacts, uh, bringing innovation into the Gambian tourism industry. If you are aware and if you have been in any of the craft market, you can see that most of the time you see a homogeneous product. A product that are the same color, same style, same appeal throughout the entire seven craft market in this country. The project aimed to enhance the capacity of craft producers, improve their livelihood, boost regional integration, increase in sales, and also create employment opportunities in the tourism sector. What has been started here today, the training, the network, the partnership that has started, could actually help me in propagating and making that case to realize what it is that we want to realize, which would benefit us as a country and you, the artisans. The training was created for craft producers, trainers, who were expected to also train others upon their return. This training was funded by Comsec for OIC member countries. Craft producers were selected and trained on various areas to widen their knowledge, motivate them in making innovative craft products. During this training, new techniques were shared, new day products were discovered, and presentations on packaging and skills were taught. The main mandate, primary mandate, is to promote the Gambia as a tourist destination, promote and market. But in support of that primary mandate, it is also mandated to upgrade the skills of the tourism human resources and also develop the product. So this particular project is directly under the purview of the Product Development Department of the Gambia Tourism Board. Trash materials were turned into useful materials. Tie and dye styles, modern day tie and dye styles were also discovered and there was a general knowledge that was shared in the bid that the trainees will appreciate the value of handicraft work and also the originality of its source. The enthusiasm towards learning is so great and that infuses fresh courage in me. I like it when they come around um, telling me to teach them what I know or to proceed on what we learned earlier on. In fact, having these people here and with the sort of enthusiasm they show towards us, I think in the end this program is going to be successful. Because these are people that already have an idea about art, but they have understood the trash art concept in such a way that these days I'm not the one that tells them to bring trash. They go about the environment to procure enough trash. And once they have understood that those things can be used for something valuable, they don't wait till they are told to start working on them. As you can see in the background, everybody is busy. Everybody has been assigned to do something. So there is partic full participation. And um, as a team, we are teaching them leadership alongside. Because if you are a leader in a team, you don't take up the work 
you delegate to people. So we are teaching them all of these skills so that when they go back to their various uh, cooperative or associations or even in their workshops, they can delegate and uh, I mean, that is capacity building. The training was conducted in a spacious environment and grounds, allowing the master trainers to create a motivational space that will allow creativity to flow. And this enabled the participants to create brilliant ideas and craft products that helped increase their knowledge and also their viability on their skills and techniques. So I've gained new experience yeah, in making this thing like they said, you know. Yeah, after here, then I'll also be very happy to go and teach others, yeah, the young generation especially, you know. Je suis en Gambie ici pour la session de formation en batique pour accroître mes connaissances sur les textiles. Je suis très heureux de faire partie de cette équipe pour accroître mes connaissances avec les membres pays, avec les autres pays comme le Sénégal, la Gambie et puis le Ghana aussi. My interest in painting art is uh, serigraphy. Painting on you know, serigraphy is painting on uh, textile. But uh, when I come, they say me is not in the program. But we have a good teacher, mm -hmm. Mr. Troy from Gambia. He tell me even it's not in the program, I teach you that. That's great. Meet Usman Gay, one of the fine craft producers' trainees with 30 years' experience. He has, however, described this training as his very first. Through this training, he has developed ideas that he had not in 30 years as a craft producer. He hopes, upon his return, to share with his trainees the new skills that he has discovered. I learned plenty in knowledge here, and I know something which I don't know. Understand? I'm very happy because knowledge is not it. You can be a hundred years if you have power or you have wealthy body, you can learn. Because knowledge is never finished. You learn today what you know here. Tomorrow you can know another thing which you never know. Key individuals from Gambia Tourism Board gave presentations on marketing and quality control. Key discussions were also made on issues that affect the tourism business today. Tourist by tourists from the Gambia has gone down. All their complaints because we are trying to, we need to be innovative, we need to be creative, we need to, to do that, we need to learn how to package our product, we need to learn how to brand them. Like I said, when, when all those nitty gritties are done, it is our job to make sure the outside world will know. And like I said, before the end of my presentation, you will see the ITV and the World Travel Market where we showcase the Gambian stands. You see, I expect them to go back to their respective communities because after talking to them and assessing what they have done, they were able to select a style from all these many styles that they have seen to select a style that they would use as their voice and the rest they would try to impart to their colleagues you know in their respective art communities i think that's the most important thing the trainees were able to interact and also follow a training model that was used throughout the training facilitators and translators were available even though participants mostly interacted in local language this was a clear indication of good interaction between different nationalities from Gambia, Senegal and Mali that already share a very similar bond. The outcome of the participants have been very good. In fact, um, their zeal is tremendous. They come to class on time and sometimes we close very late. We're supposed to close 4.30, but sometimes we close 9, which, which uh, signifies the, the way, how they value um, the whole thing and the products that we, we brought out. Um, they did it. I just help them and because they have the, the, the zeal, they put in all efforts to make sure that we have um, good products outside there, which um, is very good and very nice. So they have been very good and very helpful and they are very innovative, which they've promised to carry out the information out there and also to impact the knowledge on the other people. So 
I'm, I'm pleased with their performance. The trainees were left determined and motivated. You could see in their eyes determination to cook up fresh ideas and the outlook to become more economically viable using the new skills they discovered. The training encouraged regional integration among the participants and series of activities were created by the Gambia Tourism Board that compelled the trainees to bond and networks were created that can go a long way in trade. One of the benefits of this uh, project is that it is uh, providing uh, capacities to these um, developing countries to be able to uh, uh, fully um, compete in the um, tourism sector. Um, without the capacity to do so, it will be uh, very difficult for us to be able to compete with places like Egypt, with places like um, Turkey, where they have an advanced economy. It's a great improvement and it's going to be of a great change in the craft sectors. The Gambia Tourism Board, in partnership with the Ministry of Tourism and Culture, supervised the entire project and the project gained multinational recognition for the impact it has made in various tourism markets. The initiative was a train the trainer and I like what the representative of Mali and that of Senegal had said, those that gave the vote of thanks, that when they go back to their country they also are going to share what they have learned with their fellow craftsmen. This is the idea and I want to implore the Gambians who equally benefited that share this talent. Share what is it that you have learned. Share it with your colleagues for us to ensure that we improve and enhance the various crafts that we sell at our respective craft markets during the course of the season and off season. Because this would help us to really change the kinds of crafts that we sell to tourists. This training was to help us to improve upon the crafts that we sell and the crafts that we create. And I'm very impressed, I must say, with what I've seen. Actually, there are two crafts out there that if I had money on me today, I would have said, can I buy it? Because they're quite impressive. And I've learned something this morning talking to the trainers in terms of the difference between batik and tie and dye. It is hoped that such a project will continue to reach various tourism markets in these various countries in order to sustain more interesting tourism business for the craft producers. <laughs> Cool.